Sketch Card Hive here. So today we're going to be talking printing plates. So I've recently taken a poll, well not so recent anymore, an MCCW on Facebook. And in this poll I asked collectors, hey, how important are printing plates to you? To my surprise, 84 votes said that they weren't that important at all. Not at all. We had about 46 of them, it's up on the screen now, who said they were important and vital to collections, printing plates. Now for me, this came as a shock, but after more research, I've realized that printing plates are actually not that big of a deal when it comes to sports cards or even Star Wars cards. Uh, people enjoy them, people like them, but people don't see them as a vital thing. People see them as sometimes being ugly or not necessary or too hard to chase. For me, printing plates are the thing that connects you to the production of the car that you cherish so much. And I'm not advocating to collect for printing plates because I'd like to have more for myself, so I'm not telling you to collect printing plates. But what I am saying is that there are some things to think about when collecting Marvel card art and some things to consider when looking at printing plates for your collection. So let's look at the top three reasons why I think Marvel printing plates should be important to you. First big one is character collectors. Now on the screen here, I'll be going through some eBay listings of Marvel printing plates I see that are currently available at the time of this video being released. That way, in case you see anything, you can jump on eBay and check it out. Again, I'm not promoting any sellers on eBay here, but just want to share with you some of the printing plates that are still out there and look great. I'm not defending these prices. Some of these prices are crazy. But again, just so you know, things you see on here, in this feed right here, are still on eBay currently and hopefully by the time you see this video. So check them out if you are finding them interesting. But my first reason to take Marvel printing plates seriously is because of a character collector. As the hobby grows in interest, there will be more and more collectors looking at trying to collect specific characters. And of course, with that comes, not great responsibility, but comes I guess natural competition of like, oh, who has the more complete character collection? Him, her, blah, 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 blah. More importantly, if you are collecting a character and you want to be one of the people that say, I have the most comprehensive set, I think printing plates are a way to do that. Um, there's four colors in a printing plate, cyan, magenta, black and white, and yellow. And for those four colors, you technically can have four collectors who each can have a comprehensive set of that particular character. I know, let me rewind here. Let's say you're collecting a character like Deathlock. Deathlock has maybe three or four sets where he has ever had a printing plate, right? That means that if you're trying to make a comprehensive character collection of Deathlock, then you need to lock down at least one plate from every set where he has a plate featured on him. So you can be one of the four collectors to have a complete set of your Deathlock character for your character collection. Now, of course, you can get a little more devious with it and collect more than one printing plate, but then again, prices have gone higher, competition can be tough, and even locating a one-on-one -on -one plate can be extremely difficult. Second, looking at printing plates as part of the production process. I mean, which they are. But being able to have a plate and say, this is a plate that is part of the production of this character's card, all of a sudden you've taken your collection up a level, right? Not only do you have the card that anyone can find, but now you have a one-of-one -one production print that was used during the making of that card. Right? It just elevates your collection just a tad bit more. Uh, something to think about when collecting in Marvel card art. It's not the same as sports or Star Wars where printing plates are actually not seen as such key components mostly because they're photographs. Right? With original art, yes, you have an original painting, but sometimes that original painting or that artist will never license that image to be used somewhere else again. Right? I mean, Marvel might have it, and they might be re able to reuse it, do a comic cover or whatever, but that's only going to increase the value of the image. Pictures, however, can be done slightly differently. Not totally different, and I'm not saying there's not pictures of Michael Jordan that are coveted and have specific rights when when not to be used. I'm not saying that at all. In fact, I'm making more of a case for printing plates because now you have a production piece that's correlating to a very specific 
uh, image, right? Especially with the digital age, printing plates and printing processes will change and the hobby will grow. Not to say it will all become digital, but I think these printing processes that we currently see now, where they use printing plates, will change in the future and cards will look a little bit different. And that brings me to my third reason, the future. Cards will evolve, and as they evolve, certain things will go out of fashion, like the way they print cards, which using the four colors for printing plates, that can change, right? We could see printing plates being never used again. We could see that a more efficient, cleaner way of printing cards could be performed and more cheaply, and they won't have all of the metal, all of the printing, all of the ink. And once that's gone, the printing plates of now will no longer exist for the future. And those will be the only tangible evidence of the printing of that card. It gets pretty wild. There's plenty of other reasons why, but I wanted this to be a short video and I want to just scroll across the screen so you see some really cool plates still on eBay, hopefully by the time you see this video, in case you want one. And yeah, just wanted to share this with you. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to talk to me more about printing plates, know of any printing plates, have a printing plate collection. There's some amazing collectors out there that only do printing plates and have full sets of cards of printing plates. There's one printing plate for every card in that set and that whole set is made of printing plates. Some really amazing things out there, some really cool things to take a look at. Again, these are extremely difficult to get. They are one at once and not so important that you think your collection will never complete without getting one. This is just my two cents, something to look into, something for you all to think about and uh, Hope you enjoy and I'll see you later. Skid card hiker.